the the church has a woman's department with maybe 150 different locations where, where they provide training for, for mostly for women uh, but also for men one of the areas they they work in is is teaching women how to sew when a woman learns how to sew and has a a small hand sewing machine she can earn an income for herself and her family and with that feed her children but um, in some places this women's department they don't have the, the machines they need so I, I made my visit and reported to the mission and to, to date uh, we we have raised some funds the mission has made some contribution uh, individuals our Calvary Baptist Church has, has collected some funds to date we've raised about twenty thousand dollars that will be used to assist the, the CBK Church in Congo over, over the next three years but as as I speak to you o over this message um, perhaps the Spirit of God would stir some of you or, or some of your churches or perhaps a prayer group to, to raise some funds and send that on to the mission um, I, I have a sense that you know God would call us God is calling us to support some of our brothers and sisters in Christ I'd like to just read uh, a verse from the Lord's Prayer uh, give us each day our daily bread for, for us this prayer means you know when we look in the fridge what are we going to find because that's where tomorrow's food is we, we don't give a great deal of thought to tomorrow's food but the people of Kivu of, of Congo they, they don't know for them the prayer is Lord give us the manual give us the beans give us some fruits and vegetables and the firewood to prepare the food um, and it's not that because they don't know they don't know where their daily food is is coming from and, and and daily they pray to God that God would look after them perhaps God might hear those prayers uh, as, as some friends in in Canada provide some assistance to the CBK church at this time thank you for listening to me and giving your consideration to to this request for assistance in Congo. Thank you.